I love winter time in Coney Island because it's quiet and you can hear the ocean and you can hear the seagulls. I can commune with nature. Ugh, it's cold. Hi folks, I'm Dick Ziggin. People sometimes call me the permanently unelected mayor of Coney Island. I don't run for office, therefore I don't have any salary, but I don't have any term limits. I am founder of Coney Island USA, a not-for-profit arts organization. I also get involved in a lot of community work and activism, so it is an honor to be able to do that work in my neighborhood that I love. Patrick, you up in the booth? Yep. We haven't done a show here all winter. Can we just make sure all the lights are working? Okay, this first row. There's ones in off stage right and stage left. On, on, on. I am not a native Brooklynite. I grew up 60 miles outside of New York City in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a clue to my personality that Bridgeport was the hometown of the world's greatest entertainer, P.T. Barnum. By the time I was seven years old, God damn it, I was a Barnum scholar. I knew everything about P.T. Barnum and knew that the circus was the key to American entertainment, to American popular culture. So when I'm moving to New York, I had this totally wacky idea that Coney Island could be a staging ground. I rent a loft in 1979, which a few months later, after I've done substantial renovation, the loft burns to the ground. But by that point, I've got the sand in my shoes. And I catch on very quickly that in Coney Island, the salt air preserves the body, even though the salt air rots the mind. And if I want to be a healthy, wacky 80-year-old, Coney Island is the bohemian neighborhood I decide to join. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Bindlesiff Cavalcade of Youth. Are you ready to start the show? Yeah. Please welcome the Cavalcades. like that act. We also, in our venues, do family-friendly programming. We're not always wacko and bizarre, just most of the time. This is hard for me to believe, but I'm probably, as a director, the most experienced living human on Earth in terms of circus sideshows. So what is a Coney Island Circus Sideshow. They do things for a living you and I wouldn't do for all the money in the world. Putting a sword down your throat or putting fire in your mouth. It's a different type of entertainment that you have to experience, that you have to see to believe, and this is where you come to see and believe. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Let's go to Kitchen 21. I want lobster roll. Uh, our resident artist, Marie Roberts, does these sideshow banners. You normally can tell Coney Island's ready to open when they put the cars back on the Wonder Wheel. By this weekend, they'll be putting the cars back on. Charlie, it doesn't feel like spring yet. <laughs> Someday it will warm up. But not today. 
April has always been an exciting month for me in Coney Island. It begins with spring cleaning. Like the swallows coming back to Capistrano, trucks are bringing in supplies and restaurants are loading food into their freezers. The people of New York City who've been cooped up let loose and explode. It's about mechanical rides. It's about a soundtrack. It's about dancing in the streets to the music coming off. It's a melting place that would be hard to find anywhere else in the world. People interact in Coney Island. It's a place where Hasidim are sitting next to homeboys on roller coasters. Coney Island is the museum of people. There's changes happening here. They're ripping out something, and it's exciting to see changes, especially where nothing was happening for decades. So what are you doing out here today? A job fair, right? Good luck. Is the job fair in the carousel building? Should we peek in? If we're quiet, I want to show you this Lincoln Centennial, of course. We should get out of here. But one tip for the viewers, the bathroom here at the B&B Carousel is the nicest bathroom in Coney Island. Shh. Being a performance artist, I guess I'm inspired by turning myself into a Mickey Mouse kind of mascot. When I started doing public appearances leading the Mermaid Parade in 1984, Unfortunately, the story would always be murder, arson, gangs, murder, arson, gangs. It was important to me to change the visual image, the media image of Coney Island. I started wearing derbies or straw hats, antique wool bathing suits, hipster sunglasses, and before there was a, such an official thing as a New York City in hipster. I was trailblazing an alternative Coney Island. I'm gonna eat a lobster roll. And I'm so proud of what's happened to that building, which was derelict, falling apart. It's been fully restored as a restaurant with some of the amazing terracotta artwork from the 1920s. It's a gorgeous building. And I hope the kitchen is open. Hi there, sir. What are you doing? I'm just getting old and sometimes it? like a foot stops working. I have I other things that stop working. Just in case. Come on in, we got it ready for you. Great. Where am I sitting? Well, this is the fun part of the shoot, getting to eat. Where does your lobster come from? Is it Maine lobster or Brooklyn lobster? <laughs> it's the Gowanus Canal lobster. It is so wonderful that Coney Island got around to renovating and appreciating its history and its landmarks. We're on our way up to the roof bar. Drinking allowed in the elevator? <laughs> as long as you're not driving the elevator, I think you're all right. In a deep way in my soul, I really believe that art has an ability to work within its neighborhood and make a difference in the spirit of its neighborhood. If you've taken any kind of class in literature, You've heard the phrase, a sense of place. Well, for my entire lifetime, my adult life, I've really enjoyed my sense and place because I enjoy the beach and I enjoy the sky and I enjoy the ocean and I enjoy the museum of people and popular culture that Coney Island in general is and I have such a good time and have so much inspiration. And as a writer, I have so much local color and so many unique stories and characters to deal with. I've been nothing but blessed to 
be the unelected mayor of Coney Island. Thank <laughs> you.